Okay. Should we jump to there? Yeah, let's go. Let's... Okay. So Norway first. I'm sorry. Nor well, in this order. Yeah. So we actually, Australia, US, New Zealand, Norway hits, UK, Brexit, mm -hmm. and now Europe. And Europe, for the European Union, is IOS. So talk to me about IOS, how it works. Again, it's similar. I think we have the threshold, right? 150 euro above and below. So how is IOS different than UK VAT? Uh, because UK VAT applies to everybody. Does IOS not apply to everybody? No. The interesting thing about uh, the EU is they just made it optional. Well, so there's no threshold. So you never, that, so there's no requirement. It's, I don't have to pay my tax? There's no tax due sometimes? It's optional. Oh, no. It'll all, it, it's what they did in... It, they also lowered their thresholds. Ah, their de minimis uh, threshold. Mm -hmm. Got it. So it used to be that ta it was tax-free up to 22 euro. Yep. Um, and duty-free up to 150 euro. The duty-free mark stays the same. Okay. But what they did is they, they just abolished the tax de minimis and said, we're going to collect tax on everything. But simultaneously, they rolled out this IOS legislation that uh, allowed you to remit that sales tax directly. And there is some advantages to using IOS over not using IOS. So, so if I'm a merchant, I have the option to either pay the tax and elect to pay it on my own and get mm -hmm. an IOS number or just let it get handled at the border through the broker customs. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. So what are the advantages then? Because, oh, man, I, I, you know, why not just let the customs and the broker take care yeah. of this? Speed of clearance uh, and uh, reduction in fees. When, you, when you're handling it all on your own, it goes through faster and you're not requiring uh, your broker and customs to do things. So you, you eliminate all the fees that come along with that process. Go back to our carrier fee episode. Exactly. <laughs> talking about some so of those all those go away. fees into Europe, which are... This can be, especially with express carriers, you know, tens of, you know, US dollars, you know, or tens of euros, right? Yep. 10, 15 euros. And that's just gone because, look, it's under the duty, duty de minimis. So I'm just going to re remit directly and I eliminate fees. Now, unless you're using a provider that is charging you a lot of fees yeah, to, but, to but do remittance and all that. It's going to be minimal still, compared to the, yeah. the carrier fees. Okay. Yep. Uh, now, one thing to think of here... Um, is there's another part of this legislation that's important to talk to, which makes IOS really important. They changed some of the laws around clearance and how it could be done coming into the European Union. So it used to be that you can you could clear anywhere and distribute it anywhere within the EU. They made some laws so that way it actually has to clear in the destination country. So it made it so express carriers were they they could facilitate this fine some of the the bigger players but you had a lot of consolidators and and other players and that are very specific to the e-commerce industry that have to that that have been clearing in one spot like in the netherlands or something yeah, they're just yeah. clearing into the netherlands even though they're shipping to france yep okay and so on these and it's just impacting these low value shipments um and so now all of a sudden they 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 would roll out hey if you don't want to use ios then we're going to have to, they're going to have to leverage another party and it's going to, it's going to increase the cost. So massive problem for someone like that. Or they okay. say, you can't ship with us unless you get an IOS number. Right. It's, it's, that, that's, hasn't that been more that's the typical? Been, that's been more typical. Because it's, yep. I, yeah, I don't know how they can manage, seems really difficult to manage um, a clearance process into France when it's cl actually clearing through the Netherlands, which is kind of what you're saying, right? Yeah. Like they would have to clear through the Netherlands and clear through yeah. France to get duties and or to get the tax assessed at yep. time of... And so the costs go go up um, mm. for the services. You can't take advantage yep. of... The main reason you work with those providers is to provide a low-cost shipping solution to your to your shoppers. Yep. And that goes out the window unless you're willing to yeah. Cause it, comply with the, IOS. The problem would be if you decided, hey, I'm not going to opt into IOS and it's going to the Netherlands. They can't collect... I mean, Netherlands isn't the one that's... Um, uh, they don't have the right to the tax that's for that order because it was paid by someone in France. Right. And so though you could clear it through a traditional method, it's going to just blow up this whole process. Um, what were they doing before this? So, you know, before this came out and it's, let's say, 30 euro, right? Over the 22, because 22 used to be the tax de minimis a consolidator that's clearing through the Netherlands, they were probably managing that brokerage price process separately, I would imagine. Yeah. They, they, 
So this is, so historically they've actually had a way to do this. It's just, this is actually way easier and lower cost for them and their merchants to move to IOS. Yeah. But the, the way they were doing it previous to IOS was legal. And then IOS changed some of the rules of the game for the way they clear shipments. And okay. Then... So actually did get harder. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't realize that. Yep. Hmm. That's fascinating. So IOS is for anyone outside the European Union, Union so that applies to the UK or yep. Norway or the US or Australia. What about Netherlands to France? Doesn't impact that. Just that, that's OSS. OSS. That's a whole other EU thing. That's, right. Yep. Yep. So OSS is just kind of intrastate tax management, yep. similar to what inside the United States, similar right? To that, right. Yeah. You know, without. Uh, spending a whole, you could do a whole episode. Yeah, it'd be, on you know, you, you could consider that a domestic shipment. There's no customs clearance process happening on that transaction because right. the customs clearance process already happened when it came into the EU. Yeah. 